Hi, we're on week three of the March kit and this is going to be a fun one. There are so many different ways you can go with this. I feel like I'm cheating a little bit with the uh, with what I'm using and we'll get to that in a minute, but I'm going to give you lots of great ideas. So let's get to it. All right. This week we are choosing the shape prompt, which is organic. Organic is the opposite of geometric. Create or find shapes in nature or anything that isn't too rigid or symmetrical. So really all I'm saying is uh, let's not go for circles, squares, triangles, hexagons, you know, any of those basic kinds of shapes. Look for things that have uh, a more organic shape to them. So I said I'm cheating because I'm using a stamp. I have this awesome foam stamp that I just got from, um, it's a Joggles uh, foam stamp, but it's a Re Rebecca Meyer um, design. And I really like her. She's a great designer and artist. And um, so I'm using one of her new stamps. I just couldn't help myself because I really love this and I haven't had a lot of opportunity to use it yet. So I wanted to play with it. But when I was first writing this um, prompt and thinking about it, I really was thinking about like going outside and finding some leaves or flowers or maybe pressing your own flowers um, or using them you know, and putting some spray or crayon or ink on them and then like stamping with them. I mean, there's there's lots of things you can do here. I mean, even just taking your uh, art crayon or whatever you have and doing this, like that's an organic, it's an eight kind of with a thing, but I didn't mean to do that. But you know what I'm saying? Like that, th th so that's an organic shape because, you know, it's not too symmetrical or rigid. So that's really all I mean. So that leaves the door wide open for you to just play and figure out what uh, is going to be fun for you and what you want to do. And I, I highly encourage you to make more than one page. Maybe if you have a cool stamp like I do here and you want to play with the stamp and do some organic uh, shapes, maybe in a background or as a focal point or whatever, um, you could do that. Maybe take a walk outside. The sun has been out. It's really nice out. It'd be wonderful to go out and take a walk or just even in your yard um, and look for some interesting shapes. Uh, and bring them in and maybe try stamping with them or actually just pressing them into your page or uh, any number of things. You could even, you know, let's say this was a leaf or a feather from outside, you could lay it down and spray over it and then have the shape of it, you know, just like use it as a mask. Um, there's, there's lots of things you can do. So th just think outside the box, get creative, and I uh, cannot wait to see what you come up with for this week. But today we're just going to play with um, this foam stamp. I am going to add some of my uh, Care Creation, Care Branding Creations um, um, images. I haven't decided what yet. I, I might do one of these cards, but I'm also really kind of wanting to get into this vellum because this is super fun. And I think it might be fun to see um, the colors and the shapes kind of poking through. So we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to let the inspiration come to me as I go and let's see what we come up with. So I've already started here. I wasn't planning on doing that, but that's fine. I like it. Um, I am, so normally I guess I would say I'm going to spray this with water and kind of move it around, but what if we spray it with an ink? I have distress, uh, I'm sorry, Distress spray stain, <laughs> that's hard to say, uh, in speckled egg here. So I'm just gonna give it a little shake. I guess I don't need to because it's spray stain, but I almost always do anyway for some reason. Anyway, I'm gonna spray. Look at the resist. Did you know that happened? If I do nothing here, look at that. Let me bring it close. Look at how that spray resisted the crayon. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. I was going to move it around, but man, that looks really cool to me. I think I'm going to spray it. Actually, I brought two over here. I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. Maybe I'll do both. This is um, uh, Lindy's Stamp Gang, or I think it's just Lindy's Gang now, but it's called Merci Boku Mint, and it's got some uh, shimmer kind of stuff in the bottom here. It says it's flat, so I'm, I'm, I'm confused, but maybe it's been sitting for a long time and the powder just kind of settled. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. But these are all, you know, yellow and blue make green, so I knew that I'd be okay there. And this is already green, so even though we're working across the aisle a little bit, we're not going to get mud because um, the colors are going to play nice together. So let's put a little bit 
Oh, I like this. Wow, that's pretty. It's almost like an aqua color. That's really cool. I'm going to add a little bit more of this. I, I really did not think I would be going in this direction, but this is turning out pretty fun, actually. I really like it. Um, so now you can see I'm just kind of letting the drips take over and do their thing and letting those colors kind of blend a little bit. I love this. I like the softness of it. Um, I think I'm just going to dry it. Okay, I have dried this and I don't know if you can really see how beautiful and bright that color is. I, I say bright uh, because it is, it's bright and cheerful, but it's, it is also actually pretty, um, uh, I would put it in the pastel family, but I really just love the way these two work together and uh, what I've got on this page here. I love the staining, you know I do. And it's just, it's very delicate, but also really fun and uplifting at the same time. So I am very pleasantly surprised with this. So let's just keep moving. So next I want to add some of this stamped image. And I think I want to have it as the background and... Well, let's start with the background. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I do sometimes try to plan ahead and uh, I'm really trying not to do that right now. So I'm going to be using this gelato stick uh, called Nebula. And let's see what we get with this. So I have found that spraying my stamp with water before I put the gelato or the art stick down really helps to transfer the color nicely. So um, you can do it either way. Uh, but if you put the water down first, you're going to get um, just a, a better amount of pigment. And I'm going to do the blue, the other blue with it on the top. And probably I should have done it the other way around. I don't care. Just playing around here. And, you know, I kind of wish I had some other colors, but this is what I have with me at the moment. So we're going with it. And I'm going to spray one more time in the middle here. Well, actually... Maybe all of it. I kind of want it to blend in the middle a little bit. We'll see what happens. Let's just do this. I'm going to go sideways. And I think I'm going to do three, like, going up the page. That sounds fun to me. Yeah, I really like that. That's cool. I like that it's not perfect. I'm going to put a little bit more water down. Um, yeah, I like that it's not perfect, and I like that, um, that it's got the two-tone colors. That's really nice. All right, so let's do another layer. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. Maybe I'm going to go this way so we get the stem in the next one, so they're kind of going back and forth. Ooh, oh, that's so cool. Let me show you up close. Really, really pretty. Mm. I love foam stamps. And Rebecca Meyer is such a great artist. Um, I really love her designs. She also designs stencils for um, the Crafters Workshop, if you're familiar with that. And she's got some other cool things going on. You should check her out if you don't know who she is. All right, spraying it one more time. I'm going to go back the original way. And this one I'm going to kind of angle up toward the top. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. So now if you're just looking at this as one sort of thing and not really noticing that <clears throat> these are three separate uh, leaves, doesn't it just make a really cool texture? Like even if I put it, well actually putting it that way you can see the leaves m even more. But um, yeah, I just think that having it up and down like this and having the patterns go side to side uh, really kind of lets it be something a little different and a little bit more abstract, especially since I don't have the full image on there. And to me, it just, um, I don't know, it adds a little bit extra to, for, to it. Okay, so now I'm just real quick going to wipe this off. Actually, you know what? I should show you. I mean, a lot of you know, if you've been hanging out with me for a while, you know that I um, that I I almost never just clean them off. I love to use everything. Look at this. This is another way to do it. Do it all a bunch of different angles. I love that background. I'm gonna spray this again and keep going. 
because I think there's a little bit more pigment left on here and I try to use it all instead of, um, yeah, instead of, look at that, instead of getting rid of it. Sorry, my brain stopped working for a second. Look at how much I have on here. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to keep going over. But this is the last page I'm going to do. And, you know, I might get back to this when I'm ready to, to use this page and decide I don't like it or I don't want to use it and cover it up. I might also get to it and be inspired, you know, to do something else. So, look at that. I layered over top in two directions on this one. So, lots of really cool things you can do with your backgrounds. Super fun. Let me set this aside really quick and just clean up my mess. I am going to wipe the rest of this off. I used a sufficient amount of it, but look at how much more is coming off on my paper towel. So that just goes to show you don't, you really don't need a lot of, um, of, of that pigment to really get a good impression <clears throat> and good coverage. Okay. Really cool thing about these foam stamps too, is that, um, it's cleaned off now. <laughs> you just set it aside, let it dry, and you're good to go. And you can use it with acrylic paint, any of these kind of crayons, all, all sorts of different mediums. So I really love foam stamps. Okay, I'm going to keep just working on this page for, for this video. But, you know, I'm happy I did this just to show you different ways you can use your stamps to make um, fun backgrounds. Okay, I really want to use some of this vellum. I'm kind of jonesing to use it. So let me get my scissors. I'm just going to cut a couple of these out. I really kind of like, let me take these three. I kind of like these, um, these banner tag things because they're pink. So they're going to give me just a little pop of contrast color on there. So I am going to cut them out real quick. Okay, so I've cut a few out. Um, and I cut out one of the cards. I also, I cut out the card, but it had the dark line and I didn't want that. So I took a little sanding block and I just sanded the edges, you know, and that took that black um, border right off. You could even sand over the top of it, you know, if you really want it to be kind of distressy looking. That's really fun to do. So, you know, it just distresses it up a little bit more. Don't have to. Um, I love these uh, vellum pieces, but I think I do kind of want to use this. I like the pink against the the blue and the, the, the mint kind of color. Um, and I really kind of wanted to use a sentiment. You know, I haven't been completely finishing my pages for you, for you guys. And um, I kind of want to finish this one. I'm really digging it. And, um, you know, it's that I'm having a good time. So I was thinking maybe, I don't know, I can't decide. Where does this want to go? Do I like it like that? No. So I'm just trying to figure out placement. I do kind of like having this tag hang, hang off um, the corner and then you know you can still kind of see through it a little bit that's pretty cool I might just use one though this time and save the other ones for something else and then of course I have these phrases here um, where was that one? Oh, tell your story I really like this one so I was thinking I might use this on here as well so I'm just cutting off the ends because I don't like the extra sticker there and um, I don't know I just I mean I like the simplicity of it so first I'm gonna have to stick things down so and I like I don't know I just I like the way that everything is working together I do kind of want to add a little bit of bubble wrap though I've got this bubble wrap here from last time so what if what if I do um, yeah let's go blue and I'm just gonna color on here. We did this before, but man, this is really fun and easy, right? And a good way to um, add a little bit more. And it's going to help match what's on there. So let's just put a little bit of bubble wrap here and there. Okay. 
See, look at that. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, we did the bubble wrap. Now that's going to tie that in, you see. And then now we have to stick this down. So I've got my yes paste. So if you have that, you can use it. If you don't, um, you can use um, any kind of gel medium or um, any kind of wet glue or even a dry glue will work. We're just working on the paper here. Um, so you could actually even use like a glue stick or you could use um, your tape runners or whatever you have. So use what you have if your yes paste is all gone already. Um, that would be fine. All right, so I think I want this to go kind of right here off to the side a little bit. Man, that yes paste is serious business, isn't it? My goodness, I love it. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it. I got, I got some good feedback on it. So I'm really, I'm happy that I was able to get, put that in your kit this time. So for this piece, um, I just put Yes Paste like on the top half of it because I want it to be able to float a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to have it be in here. I don't know, I just like having that tag hanging out underneath there. And then I'm going to put, I'm still going to put some Yes Paste on the back of this because, um, you know, I don't trust these stickers to really stick forever so but we know this yes paste is not going anywhere so again whatever adhesive you're using I would put it on the back of your sticker if you're going to add you know a sentiment or any or any kind of sticker really like that I kind of like it to be right here okay and then I'm going to put this away remember if you're, you are using your yes paste make sure you wipe your edge with a clean cloth before you put the lid back on so that you can get the lid off next time <laughs> because this stuff is really, really strong. Okay, all right, so now I think, I really do like the way this is. I probably, let's see if I can add some right now. I do wanna add some doodles, I think. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, okay. I'm just priming my marker here because it's been sitting for a little bit. Give it a good shake. Press it down until you have good coverage. And I've got a little doodle in the corner. I don't care. That's okay. You can work it in and make it be part of the thing. I th I'm wondering if this, this one's having some issues, but we're going to try anyway. So I think I kind of just want like some little dots around here just around this corner okay and then maybe down here too you know these dots they're little but they really do help to draw your eye around the scene where wherever you want it to be and then I was thinking on the side here it says tell your story so I'm gonna write a message it won't be legible but remember in the beginning um, back in the first month of doing this um, I was showing you how you can write illegibly <clears throat> um, actually now that I say that I'm not sure if I did I think we did the writing on the page and covering it up that's all we did. But um, you can definitely do this too. All right. Uh, okay, so. Oh, this isn't writing well enough. Hold on. Gotta get a different one. I do want black. That other one, I think I just have to work it a little bit more, but I'm, I'm feeling a little impatient. Ooh. So I don't want to do that. Hold on. Now this one's extra juicy. Okay. Wow. That was a lot. Okay, let's see. So, and even if you don't want to write anything specific, but you want to have the doodles, like here I, I'm just doing like doodly loops. You can do something like that. Um, or you can actually, and you can even just like in your head be thinking the thought and write the doodly loops, you know, like that. And you'll still know what it is. You know what I mean? So I think that works just fine. So I kind of like that. 
and I think that might be it. I do have these bigger dots now, so I might add a few here and there. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of like it the way it is. I maybe I'm gonna go around my store, tell your story thing here. So it has a little more prominence. But I think I'm good with it. I like it the way it is. I really like the color palette and the way things came together. Totally unexpected and not really even necessarily my style, but uh, this was really fun. I love it. I love that it's organic feeling. Um, even the text that we did here is not perfect or anything. It's very just kind of just, I mean, not even really text. It's kind of scribbles at this point. But um, yeah, I love this. This was really fun. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Whether you choose to get a stamp or maybe you have a stencil with a really cool image or maybe you're gonna go outside and find some actual um, you know, flowers or sticks or um, acorns or um, uh, leaves, whatever it is, I can't wait. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.